Welcome to today's session on getting organized for your job search. Is your job search efforts messy and unorganized? Do you know how to prepare for the job search experience? How do you handle the day-to-day -day and still stay organized? Well, let's dig into things a little deeper and give you some pointers to get organized with your job searching. Do you find yourself surrounded by a ton of yellow sticky notes or text to yourself in your own cell phone? Are you trying to commit things into memory and then sometimes forgetting to follow up? Do you lose track of things you're supposed to do like when it's your next interview, what applications you've submitted, and which employers you've communicated with? I think you might know what I'm talking about. If so, it's time to get it together. Let's think of this as project managing your job search and how we can stay engaged enough to keep focused and to be successful in your job search and staying organized. Let's face it, we all have project managed something in our lives in the past. For example, in school, you may have worked on a report and taken it from point A to point B to complete the task. Or maybe you've been a leader in a social organization and led the team to victory. You can even do this with your own job search. Let's talk about the tricks and the maps of a successful job search and staying organized. First, let's look at some of the top excuses that people give for not managing their job search in a very organized way. Excuse number one, I don't have a personal computer. Well, that's understandable, but there are resources out there that can assist. Come to the local workforce office or the public library. Check around with friends and families to maybe use theirs. If all else fails, use a good old fashioned paper and pen to create a chart to help stay organized and keep everything in a binder to carry everything around with you in case you need it. Excuse number two. I'm not that good at Excel, or I don't know the office software. Well, first off, if you're applying for jobs that need those skills, you might want to take one of our workshops or get some self-help videos and training to master those skills so that you become proficient. Programs such as Excel, PowerPoint, Word are most important to know as many employers want their employees to know how to work them. So now is the time to force yourself to learn them. Remember, there's no cost tutorials online available day and night. If you don't need those skills and don't want to learn those skills, then that's okay. But be sure to graph out and chart your progress on graph paper or whatever will help you stay organized. Draw rows, columns, check them off as you have completed them and be sure to complete your list up to date and keep it moving with the to-dos and stay in the right direction. Stay disciplined and work on staying on top of your tasks that will move you in the right direction and you know what needs to be followed up on. Regardless of using Excel, Word, PowerPoint, or even the paper pencil method, keeping track of the chart or the job search tracker. So when you're creating the tracker sheet, start with the left to the right in any program software or piece of paper by starting by creating columns that give each a title, such as starting with the first column being your number column. Start by numbering one through 10 so that you can identify the tasks and put them in order. This is usually number of jobs that you're planning on applying for, even if it's only two or three right now, every little bit helps to stay organized. In the next column, describe the job. For an example, if it's for a retail clerk, then list the employer and the phone number and even possibly the email link. Maybe even the address if you're planning on visiting the site. Next, be sure to list the job in the next column so that you can reference the job applied for when following up. Another column might be is 
Who are the people and the company contacts that you'll be communicating with with the company concerning the job? Then, jot down the date in which you applied for the job and the follow-up date that is which usually five to seven days after you've applied. Put that date on your calendar so that you can follow up on that date. Remember, Workforce may also be able to help you with job tracking sheets if you think that you might need some guidance or a template to get you started, we'll be more than happy to help. You may want to write yourself a few notes like call to see if the employer received your application, resume, and cover letter, or ask what the next steps might be in the process for you getting an interview. Go on LinkedIn and see if you know anybody that works for the company that you could reach out to to gain added knowledge about the position in the company. Research the company so that you know the ins and the outs if asked. The last column would be the status column. I like to recommend red, yellow, and green approach. Red, of course, would be the dead end ones. Celebrate the red ones and just cross them out. Draw a line through them, put a bright red mark on them, forget about them, and move on. Yellow means still pending and is really not out of the woods yet, but still possibly have a chance for an interview and a possible job. Yellow means you're not quite sure it might go, uh, maybe in the red, maybe not. Might go green, so I still need to work on that one. Green is, I feel good about this one. I've gotten feedback and things are moving right along. Maybe I have gotten an interview and I've marked it on my calendar. I'm going to the next step at this point. Stay positive. This pretty much sums it up for our session for today. And remember, no more sticky notes and no more excuses. You're doing great and good luck with your job searching and staying organized. Visit us again for more e-courses available on our website at www.careersource.com. PascoHernando.com. Thank you and have a great day.